Hey guys, and welcome back to Snowplay's Thomas Own on Jetstream. <sighs> it's late for me. It's, well, not really. It's nine. I decided I would go ahead and play anyway, despite being tired. Nothing better to do. Sort of bored. So, anyway, let's get to it. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up, if only for a few levels. Pretty game. He knew that this was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs> show off his exceptional skills <laughs> as it was he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things <laughs> where did they come from anyway who knows where did they come from this adorable little AI intelligent box named Thomas and his Cruel friends <sighs> who don't like him. Poor Thomas. John inhaled the air of the open space and it smelled of awesome. It literally Time smelled of awesome. To 
put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Yes, you could let the little dots the catch up. Sympathetic expression you practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> oh my god. They're so cute. He's been like practicing in the mirror all this time. Just so that he could show sympathy to his adorable new little pals. That's so sweet. is like way too cute. to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. so much either. The red one 
Thomas had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. that thing that's up there. Sherry. Ah. Well, that didn't work. I'm not sure how to do this puzzle. Hmm. 
know what that did, though. <laughs> I don't know if that helped me in any way. jump with the orange one. Got it. Yeah, the pink one can go on top of the yellow, but the orange one was like too short. Ah. 
Yeah, this game gets definitely progressively harder, wow. Almost there. Got that through that puzzle. On to the next. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, 
that he was happy to guide them to triumph. <sighs> Don't lose the dots. I am one of the dots. Stop losing me. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, <laughs> to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for deciding to keep me. Streaming, Dad. Everybody say hi to my parent. It's not like they can see you wave. <laughs> but yes, he waved at you all. All five of you. Woohoo! I did it! Alright, I'm gonna call it there, 30 minutes in, alright? I beat a couple of puzzles. Sherry says hi. So, and hey, we perfect time to stop it because we made it to level two. Would die. She knew it would happen eventually. Claire's going to die, alright. Yep, yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna call it here. Alright, so... Hope everybody had a good time, and you know what? I will see you most likely tomorrow. Alrighty? Night, everybody!